Lindsay Lindsay Whittle here with Fit with Nutrition. I, as you all may know, I am a certified macronutrition coach, and I'm here to teach you all things about fitness, health, and lifestyle nutrition. So please go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and go ahead and share all these videos so I can help spread this lifestyle. my Aldi haul. I frequently shop at Walmart, Kroger, and Aldi's to find some macronutrition friendly food. So as you all may be familiar with flexible dieting, flexible nutrition, and macros, that's what I focus on and teach. So I'm going to explain to you guys what I purchased for $74 at Aldi. So we're going to start with meat. I have the USDA Choice Black Angus Beef. It's the Eye of Round Steak here. It is for four ounces, it's 180 calories, 10 fat, and 23 grams of protein. So that is the meat that we're going to have. And then they had chicken breast on sale. So I am going to freeze these because I already have some in the refrigerator, but they were $1.49 at Walmart. I can find chicken breast for $1.99. So I wanted to get on that 50 cent savings here. So I have two of these. So it's about five pounds of chicken. So two of those. Another good protein source if you guys can't eat dairy, I recommend getting non-fat Greek yogurt. So this is the Friendly Farms brand. It's 100 calories, zero fat, seven carbs, and 17 grams of protein. So what I will do is mix in a packet of Splenda, some cocoa, maybe sometimes I'll just do cinnamon and some Splenda and I'll mix it up and I'll have that as kind of like a dessert before bed. I also have cheese. Again, if you guys do dairy, mozzarella cheese has really high protein and I like to make edamame pasta or black bean soy pasta or with spaghetti squash, I will put this on top of it. And it just adds a little bit of extra protein. It is the Parmesan cheese grated. 20 calories, 1.5 fat, zero carb, and two protein. So that's what just kind of help adds up into your nutrition. I also purchased some frozen chicken here. It is the grilled frozen chicken breast. This is about 50 cents cheaper than at Walmart. So I went ahead and just picked this up, throw it in the freezer, keep it on the go. It's already cooked, so I just have to microwave it. It's nice to have on hand. And that wraps up as far as like meat, protein, and dairy. Um, also, I want to go to carby sources. I purchased crinkle cut fries. These are just like an Aldi brand. They are 110 calories, you can view that there. 110 calories, 3.5 fat, 20 carb, and two protein. So it's about 14 french fries, which is a good, decent serving. So I'll have that. Some veggies, these are new. I haven't tried these before. It is frozen veggie fries. So they're the root veggies. And these are 110 calories, it's four fat, 16 carb, and one protein. It has four grams of fiber in it. 
So, literally, these are vegetables, like root veggies, such as parsnips, carrots, and red beets. And these are potatoes. The same amount of calories, about the same amount of pieces, and this one's just gonna have a little bit more fiber in it. So pick and choose what you guys want. Um, that's why I love macros. It's very flexible on where you wanna get your nutrients from and what foods you can incorporate. So those are pretty much the same thing. I can interchange those, and I'm just gonna pop those in the air fryer and we're good to go. Another carb source I got are the Fit and Active flatbreads. I'll microwave these, I'll turn these into chips. I'll use them as wraps for sandwiches. They're 90 calories. Good source of fiber, it's nine grams. Nine grams of protein and 1.5 grams of fat. I picked up some jambalaya rice, some rice pilaf, and these are more so for Anthony. He's my husband. He um, has more carbs than I do, although I do have a pretty good decent amount of carbs. It's only 140 calories for the entire mix, and this is um, for the pilaf, 200 calories per the mix. So I will just cook these up. Pretty easy, super cheap at Aldi for nice, good carb sources. Oh, I apologize, let's go back to protein. For those who are um, more plant eaters, yeah, these are amazing. These are Aldi. I don't know where you can get them anywhere else, but these are flame grilled protein burgers. They're soy based veggie burgers with a grilled flavor. These are 100 calories. And this one too, this one is just the, oh, uh, with cheese and girl flavor. This is not with cheese. Oh. These are 100 calories. So they're five grams of carbs. You can barely find these with under like 15 grams of carbs and there's 16 grams of protein in these. So if you're a plant eater, go to all these, get you these burgers because it's a game changer. They're like $2.39 for a box and there's four in a box. Some other carbs, these are just kind of like more snacks, but these are serving size 44 crackers. There's four servings in each box. They're cauliflower crackers with sea salt. They're gluten-free, vegan, whatever you want to do. I'm not really big on gluten-free. Um, unless it's specific to your dietary needs, but that's a whole different ball game. Um, whole different conversation, whole different video. But I like crackers, like, I like snacky foods, and these are good. It's 18 carbs, 2.5 fat, and two grams of protein per serving. I also have, this is like carb and protein mix. So this is, um, black soybean spaghetti, and this one's edamame spaghetti. They're 180 calories for the two. They're both around three fat, 20 carb, and 25 grams of protein per serving. So these are awesome too. If you're a plant-based nutrition, pick these up, $2.49 a box, and you get four servings out of that. snacky options. I have these green pea crisps. I like to eat these. They do have five grams of fat and 13 carbs and five grams of protein. So good snack. There's three servings per bag. So I picked up two of those. I'm going to try these wholesome cookie things. Don't know. It's four servings per container, 130 calories, six fat, 18 carbs, and one protein. We're going to give them a try. 
I really like these because they're already portioned out. 100 calorie snack packs. I'm a cookie lover. So these are gonna be nice to have in my bag when I go to work for snacks. And y'all know we need some sauce for that pasta. So they do have creamy Alfredo sauce. It's not listed as low fat or you know low calorie, but this really is. It's only 60 calories per serving. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's 4.5 fat and three carbon, one protein. And that's really good for a Alfredo sauce. So um, it has the same amount of serving size. It's a fourth a cup. That's typical for any um, sauce. So definitely go pick that up as well too. And last but not least, I got these protein infused. They are $1.69. I think Sam's Club has these as well, but I found this here at Aldi. They're protein infused drink. So if you have a hard time getting your protein in, and maybe you just want something to drink and not necessarily like a chalky like protein shake, these are 60 calories, 15 grams of protein, nothing else. So definitely check these out when you're trying to get some extra protein in. I have not tasted these before, so they're completely brand new to me. So we will see how they go. So that's all I purchased. That cost $74. Oh, and I got toilet paper. But that's not very cool. So I hope this gives you guys more ideas on grocery shopping and what to pick out for weight loss. So these are great higher protein, moderate carb, low carb options, good amounts of fats. I already have salads and veggies in my refrigerator. So those kind of include butternut squash, spaghetti squash, zucchini, turnips, carrots, and spinach. So those are the veggies that I already purchased. I went to Walmart and purchased those. But they've got those at Aldi too. So definitely go check it out. Don't be afraid. Go use that quarter, stick it in the car, and save you some money. All right, guys, that's it for today. We will catch you next time.